kind-hearted man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray does he not immediately leave the ninety and nine and go out in search of the one that has gone astray and if he is a good shepherd will he not keep up his quest for the last sheep until he finds it and then when the shepherd has found his last sheep he lays it over his shoulder and going home rejoicing calls to his friends and neighbors rejoice with me for i have found my sheep that was lost i declare that there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety and nine righteous persons who need no repentance even so it is not the will of my father in heaven that one of these little ones should go astray much less that they should perish in your religion, God may receive repentant sinners. In the gospel of the kingdom, the Father goes forth to find them, even before they have seriously thought of repentance. The Father in heaven loves his children, and therefore should you learn to love one another. The Father in heaven forgives you your sins, therefore should you learn to forgive one another. If your brother sins against you, Go to him, and with tact and patience, show him his fault. And do all this between you and him alone. If he will listen to you, then have you won your brother. But if your brother will not hear you, if he persists in the error of his way, go again to him. Take him with you, one or two mutual friends, that you may thus have two or even three witnesses to confirm your testimony and establish the fact that you have dealt justly and mercifully with your offending brother. Now if he refuses to hear your brethren, you may tell the whole story to the congregation and then if he refuses to hear the brotherhood, let them take such action as they deem wise. Let such an unruly member become an outcast from the kingdom. While you cannot pretend to sit in judgment on the souls of your fellows, and while you may not forgive sins or otherwise presume to usurp the prerogatives of the supervisors of the heavenly hosts, at the same time, it has been committed to your hands that you should maintain temporal order in the kingdom on earth. While you may not meddle with the divine decrees concerning eternal life, you shall determine the issues of conduct as they concern the temporal welfare of the brotherhood on earth. And so, in all these matters connected with the discipline of the brotherhood, whatsoever you shall decree on earth shall be recognized in heaven. Although you cannot determine the eternal fate of the individual, you may legislate regarding the conduct of the group. For, where two or three of you agree concerning any of these things and ask of me, it shall be done for you if your petition is not inconsistent with the will of my Father in heaven. And all this is ever true, for where two or three believers are gathered together, there am I in the midst of them.